on October 12, 2022, at around 6.40 p.m., Hillsborough County, Florida, Officer Jonathan was on routine patrol when he was suddenly flagged down by a man. The visibly shaken man informed the officer Jonathan that his 2011 white Chevrolet Silverado pickup truck had just been stolen. What made the situation even more distressing was that his two sons, aged 4 and 8, were inside the truck at the time of the theft. He was screaming, I still I can see the car going, so I had to get in the vehicle because my priority at that point was the lives of two kids, you know, that were in danger. The situation was extremely urgent. To prevent the suspect from getting away, Officer Jonathan immediately began pursuing the suspect. Stop the truck! Now! Pull into the parking lot! We see Officer Jonathan in hot pursuit of the suspect, using patrol car's loudspeaker system to order the suspect to pull over immediately. The suspect eventually stopped the vehicle in the parking lot, where he was confirmed to be a stolen vehicle. Roll the window down. Why are you doing with the kids? What's going on? Roll the window down, bro. My, this is not your car? Step out of the car. Step out of the car, bro. Okay, step out of the car. Help me on you. Alright, step out of the car. Step out of the car, bro. We see the suspect immediately claiming to the officer that it wasn't him. Meanwhile, the brothers in the passengers and back seats, despite the tense situation, display the level of composure and calmness beyond their years. Alright, let me let me figure it out. Okay, put that bottle away. Put that bottle away. Okay, put, put that bottle away. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to step out of the car and help me out. Okay? What do you mean are you? Okay. So let me figure out. I don't know what's going on. Step, step out till you figure it out. Are you gonna step out? Yeah, okay, now you. Give me the car keys. Give me the car keys. Give me the car keys. I know where your dad is. I saw him running this way. Give me the car keys. I'm not asking you twice. Give me the car keys. Alright. We see Officer Jonathan handling a high-risk case alone with extreme calmness. Despite the suspect's repeated refusal to exit the vehicle, Officer Jonathan employed a de-escalation strategy. He did not resort to immediate violent removal of the criminal, but instead patiently attempted multiple persuasions. This approach aimed to prevent uncontrollable situations and safeguard the safety of the two young children inside the car. Alright, step out. I don't know. I, I step out. I need to figure out. You're I cannot let you in the car. But step out, you're gonna punch me. I'm not gonna punch you, bro. I just yes, gonna, I just, will. no, I promise you. you will I, I promise out. you. You will. If I step out, you're gonna punch me. Now the man says he's afraid of the police hitting him. Jonathan, while controlling the suspect's left hand, was simultaneously updating the dispatch center on the latest development. At this moment, one of the boys loudly confirmed to the officer Step out of the car, bro. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Stay here. I need to figure out what's going on, that's all. Finally, without any further arguments, Jonathan successfully arrested the suspect. Later, we learned that the suspect, 37-year-old Kevin Smith, faced charges of vehicle theft and two counts of felony kidnapping. However, it is not known if the man accused of stealing the truck knew the children were in the back. Smith's criminal history dates back to 2003. Currently, Smith is being held without bail at Falkenberg Road Jail. During the incident, the two brothers, aged 4 and 8, were unharmed and safely reunited with their father. Police Chief Chad remarked, if it weren't for Officer Jonathan's swift actions, the situation could have been much worse. He averted what could have been every parent's worst nightmare. Chad continued, Thanks to Officer Jonathan, these two children are safe today. Otherwise, the outcome could have been unimaginable. Uh, at that moment, I talked to the dad. It was so brief. He just said to me, I'm so glad you were there. And, and I looked back and said, wow, I'm, I'm glad I was there too. 